Starting things off, if you're not going to wear a necktie, don't button that top button. And that second button, don't be afraid to unbutton that as well. Gives you a much more relaxed look. In today's video, gents, 10 easy ways to look more attractive in a dress shirt. So coming in at number nine, and assuming you're not wearing a necktie, you're going to have those top two buttons unbuttoned. Make sure to go for a V-neck undershirt, not a crew neck. You don't want to show your undershirt. It just never looks good. Tip number eight to look attractive in a dress shirt, choose the right collar style. In general, modern dress shirt collar styles are going to fall into two categories. We're going to have point collars. Point collars are going to have their point spread be less than 35 degrees. This is going to be the vast majority of collar styles out there. This works great with a necktie, but if you're not going to go with a necktie, you want to look at spread collars. Spread collars are going to have more like a 45, 55 degree collar spread, and they're going to look much better when you don't wear them with a necktie. Now, you can wear a necktie with a spread collar. It looks good if you choose the right knots. Style. What you want to go for is a wider knot that's going to fill up the space right up there next to your neck. So coming in at number seven, you want to choose the right color fabric for your skin tone and your hair color. So first up, we've got light skin, light hair. So if you've got this complexion, some great colors are going to be light blue, green, red. We're going with lighter variations of these colors. Notice no bright colors, no super dark colors. If you've got light colored skin, blonde or reddish hair, what you want to be careful of is overpowering your natural colors with too strong of a color in your dress shirt. Next up, we've got the medium contrast individual. This is going to be a guy with a little bit of color in his skin, but he's going to have very dark hair. Now, when it comes to dress shirts, this guy is pretty lucky. He's going to be able to pull off almost any color, but he's going to look best when he creates contrast in his outfit. So, if you've got a dark colored suit, you want to go for a light colored dress shirt. So when it comes to dress shirts, your best color is going to be white, followed by a light blue, and maybe even a pink or a lavender. You could pull that off. And when it comes to the darker colors, yes, they're going to be more casual, but you can have some fun here. Don't be afraid to bring in a nice, strong, vivid blue, or maybe even a maroon. Next up, we've got the Jen who's got dark colored skin, dark colored hair. But what's great about this complexion, you can pull off very strong colors. So, of course, white is an option, but look at this light colored pink. Maybe you want to bring in a royal purple, a vivid blue, or a strong green. Now, before we go any farther into this video, I got to warn you. Guys, the danger of picking up all this great info on how to be more attractive in a dress shirt is that you're going to look at your current dress shirts and realize that they suck. Well, gents, don't worry, because with today's sponsor, I've got you covered. Aposta. You guys need to go check out this amazing Italian company. They're making online custom shirts. Look at all the fabric choices. We're talking over three thousand fabrics to choose from. Gents, I tested them out. I went through the build process on their website. Very easy. You measure yourself or you can actually measure your best fitting shirt. Then you've got all the fabrics to choose from. You go through, you choose out all the different styles. You build your perfect custom shirt. Guys, all Aposta shirts are made in Italy by skilled artisans that have been doing this for generations. Literally the founders. They're fourth generation shirt makers. And guys, it doesn't matter your body type. You can be round. You can be a bodybuilder. You can be tall and thin. You can be short and stout. Doesn't matter. You're going to be able to get a shirt built to your exact measurements. And when it comes to fit, gentlemen, they nail it 98% of the time on the first try. And if they don't get it right, guess what? They'll remake the shirt at no cost to you. And let's talk about their incredibly low price. How are they able to do it? Guys, they only sell directly to you, the customer. And the best part, down in the description of today's video, I've got an awesome discount code. The best you're ever going to find for this company. Use it or lose it, guys. Great company. Go check them out. Use that link down in the description. The next tip to look attractive in a dress shirt, strong lines. We're talking about a well-starched or ironed collar. We're talking about cuffs that have no wrinkles on them, are pressed, don't have any type of bends in them, and a strong placket. So the placket, this is going to be where the buttons go through, but this always needs to be pressed. This needs to be ironed. If you have wrinkles right here in the front of your shirt, everyone's going to see it. The same with the collar. Now the collar, not only do you want to actually have it pressed out, but you want to make sure that the shirt you buy has collar stays. Basically, they go in there and they ensure that there is a nice, solid, straight point. Let's talk about cuff fit. So, in general, cuffs should not be so tight to restrict movement and they should never be so loose as that you could actually remove the shirt without unbuttoning. Now, you want to, if you wear a watch, you want to make sure that the cuff is adjusted to be able to fit your watch comfortably. And remember, you can actually just simply move the button. So, coming in at number five, and this one's backed by science, know how to roll your shirt sleeves. Seriously, they did a poll. They asked women, what do you find attractive about a man? Up in the top five consistently is when a man rolls up his shirt sleeves and shows his forearm. 
So this leads to the question, what's the most attractive way to roll your shirt sleeves? The answer, in my opinion, is the master roll. Here's how to do it. For this one, you will put the cuff further up the sleeve. Then, fold the excess fabric over it. This results in a very clean looking roll, one that will not come undone throughout the day. And best of all, when you want to unroll your shirt sleeves, one quick pull of the cuff is all it takes. Next up, don't be afraid to bring in a color that really pops, something that you're confident wearing, something that you just feel this makes you look great. And I know this may contradict what I said earlier, but if you love the look, if you feel confident, guys, you can pull it off. Next. Know the rules on tucking in your shirt. So most shirts, when you look at the bottom, you can tell should it be tucked or should it be untucked. Shirts that should be worn untucked are oftentimes going to have a straight bottom or it's going to be the particular style of the shirt. So a Wyabella should not be tucked in. A polo shirt, for the most part, those are made to be worn untucked. Now, dress shirts by default should always be tucked in if they're a dress shirt, but it's the casual button down. This is where it gets confusing. So if you've got a dark colored shirt and you're wondering, can I actually wear this untucked? You want to apply the two inch rule. So the two inch rule goes like this. A shirt that's going to be worn untucked, you want to have it go about two inches below the waistline of your trousers. Coming in at number two, know how to leverage patterns. So let's start things off with one of the easiest patterns to pull off and that is Oxford. It's the shirt I'm wearing right now. Basically they use different colors. I've got white and dark blue yarns that were used to make this fabric. From a distance, it looks like a solid. Another thing to look at is to go with a shirt that has a tight twill weave. But from a distance, it's going to look like a solid. Now let's talk about stripes. A great pattern for most guys, going to make you look leaner, going to make you look taller. Three stripes that you need to know are first up, the bangle stripe. So the bangle stripe is when we have two colors, white along with another color, and you're going to see that they're of equal width. So the white is just as wide as the color. Next up, we've got a candy stripe. Now a candy stripe, the stripe of the color is going to be half the width of the white. So you're going to actually see a lot more distance between the stripes. Next up, if you're looking to go with something bold, look for a track stripe. So track stripes are where you've got actually three colors. You have the white backdrop and then you have alternating colors of a different shade. And let's talk checks. So check patterns in general are very casual, especially when they use a larger check pattern, they use brighter colors. Now, one of my favorite check patterns is a Glen check, especially a medium to light blue. This pattern doesn't really stand out until you get up close. And I think that you can wear this business casual, maybe business, but uh, yeah, it really is a great one to stand out from the crowd. All right, guys. So coming in number one on my list, the most important thing when it comes to looking great in a dress shirt is fit. I've said this before. If it doesn't fit you, it's going to make you look bad. Guys, nail the fit. So where are the key areas on the dress shirt? You got to nail the fit. Guys, start with the collar. When you button this up, you need to be able to get two fingers in there at least. If you can get your whole hand in there, it's way too big. Let's talk about your shoulder points. If it does not fit you in the shoulder points, do not buy the shirt. This cannot be adjusted. When it comes to the sleeve length, you want to make sure to put your hands out. It should not go up past your wrist bones and it should not go out past your hands. You can get this adjusted a bit. Now, if it's way too baggy in the sleeves, you want to be careful of that. That is showing that you've got way too large of an armhole. Now, when it comes to the length of the shirt, this is something a lot of manufacturers skimp on. I like to have at least two to three inches in length so that it's, I can tuck it in and it's going to stay tucked in. Now, when we talk about the torso, so you want to have about two and a half inches of room on the average size guy. If you're a bit bigger, maybe three, three and a half inches. But if you're five foot two, a hundred pounds, in that case, you're going to probably want an inch and a half to maybe even an inch of excess fabric. So it's really proportion based. Now, if you want more details on what goes into the perfect fitting dress shirt, I want you to go check out this video right here. I go into a lot more detail on what exactly to look for, for the perfect fitting dress shirt. Or maybe you're curious about four of the ways to roll your dress shirt sleeves. I've got you covered with this informational video right here. And gentlemen, again, I apologize if giving you all this information has made you realize how bad your existing dress shirts are. And remember, if you want to fix that problem, use a pasta. I'm linking to them down in the description. This Italian company making awesome shirts at an awesome price. You build the shirt you want. Guys, go check them out. I'm linking to them with the best deal you're going to find in the description of today's video.